Hi, Gemini. This is your love reading for Libra season 2018. Uh, that is September 22nd through October 22nd, of course. And I know we are already a week into Libra season at this point. So I do want to skip straight into your energy and your messages for this season. What or whom uh, are you meeting energetically? I did already have the message come through that some Geminis are um, in a battle, battle of sorts with someone who is either st stalling for some reason um, or they don't, they're fed up with you stalling. They're, they're trying to, um, to push you. Um, one or one or one of you is dragging your feet about something and it's causing an argument. Um, and then I have here as the energy you're stepping into that you're unable, Gemini's, to to walk away from something. Um, maybe from that person that you're arguing with. Maybe from that specific argument. Um, Yeah, I think you ha you you have a shared fulfillment, uh, an emotional fulfillment and an attachment um, to this to this person. Um, and you just need the advice is that you need to be very clear uh, with yourself and with them. You need to. You exercise your ability to step into the Queen of Swords energy. This is uh, the Queen of Air, Gemini, uh, can often represent you, us. I have a couple of planets in Gemini, I'll say us. Um, but she can see the truth about everyone who, who comes in front of her, and she can exercise her right and ability to cut them out of her life if necessary. You see the blood on the tip of the sword, you see the tear in her eye here in the Deviant Moon Tarot. Um, and I will have description about all the, uh, I'll have, um, information about all of the decks that I'm using in the description of the video, Gemini's, but, um, the advice is to step into this energy, to, um, be honest with yourself about what you see in this person, in this argument, in this relationship, in this situation, and maybe it's not someone you're actually in a relationship with. Maybe it's just someone that's like a potential partner or an ex or a thought in your mind as a partner. But, but whomever this, the, that argument is with and, that, and whomever it is that you're having trouble walking away from or whatever, be honest with yourself about what you see in that person or situation and be honest and clear with them about what you see, what you think, what you need, what you want. Um, that's that's your advice. You are headed towards success in Scorpio season. Um, and I, I believe this is, you know, it could be in regards to your finances in a way that it, it affects your relationship. But I really think that we're talking about, you know, your love life. That's what the spread is for. So it's not easy to attain this success in this situation with this person. But by Scorpio season, um, you're, you're getting there. You're getting there with them. Um, and for some, it's not that you two are forming a family or even a couple or this, 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 um, this happy energy that we see here in the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Water. Uh, for some, the success is that you're realizing that this is not your divine partner or the divine partner that you want to be with. Um, specifically for some Gemini women, I think you're real, you'll realize by Scorpio season that this might not be your divine masculine um, or that he's just not ready yet. But for most Gemini, I do have to say in that Ten of Cups, that's the energy that you're meeting. So I think for most Gemini... You actually are stepping into that that emo that shared emotional fulfillment. 
But in order to get to this successful point in Scorpio season where the both of you are engaging happily in the relationship and deriving what you need and want from it, you first have to, as I said, be very honest with yourself about what you want and see and need and very clear and honest with them about what you see and want and need. Um, I, I, I'm sure of it, but that could definitely trip some Geminis up this season, this year, this relationship, however long it may last. Um, people can stay in things for years hoping that they will get what they want and need without ever actually clearly vocalizing it because they're afraid that they're going to get the response they don't want. If I tell you that this is only going to work if you want a marriage and family one day, am I going to be met with a response that says, well, I don't want to get married and have kids, so I guess we should end this now. It's like we're so, that's just an example that's a, a big a main one and a big one, but where it's like we're so afraid to hear what we don't want to hear that we just don't ask sometimes. Um, and I see that as a, a, a potential um, pitfall for Geminis here in, in, again, this relationship, this season, this year. Um, there's a need here. There's advice here. There's a message here to be very clear. There's a reason why your energy is showing up as the Eight of Cups. And we got the, the Five of Swords energy coming out for you um, before before I recorded it came out. So it's like some, what, what some of you can't walk away from is the potential of shared fulfillment, the potential of a family and a home um, and emotional fulfillment with this person, even though they're stalling, they're not quite ready, and you're arguing about that or having mental battles with yourself about whether or not you should keep waiting and not even vocalizing those arguments with them. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking at for a lot of Gem Geminis. You're unable to walk away from the potential. And it, it actually looks like I wouldn't, you know, as your reader looking at the spread, I wouldn't say that, you know, Gemini's that you need to. It looks like as long as you're completely honest with yourself and with them, you're headed toward that success and that emotional fulfillment. That's the path that you are on now. But we, we can't skip that step, right? Um, for some, it may be a matter of needing to recognize... where they're not being completely clear with you. So let's take the same example. If you say to them, you know, I want this to be headed toward marriage and, and a family, is that something you see in your life someday? They may give you the impression that they, they might want that, they could get on board with that someday. And if you are honest with yourself about what you see and hear in their reaction, you can maybe identify that they, they don't want the same things you do. They want to be with you. They'll, they, you know, they may, you know, say, say something in the moment right now because they care a lot about you and they don't want to lose you. But Gemini's, you know, there's a big difference between just a, accepting a half joking answer where, where maybe you're, you're both giggling and things are playful and you don't want to be too serious and, 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 rolling on with that hope for years or taking the time to go, okay, I know this is uncomfortable to talk about, but seriously though, are we serious? Is this, is this something that we see? I mean, I care about you, but I can't, I can't waste years. You know, if you're going to be in that long-term partnership with someone and you see this picture coming eventually, um, and you're intimate with this person, there's no reason you shouldn't be able to have those honest conversations. What do you, you know, what do you want in your life? Does it line up? Now, for some Geminis, you're with a partner or interested in a partner who doesn't want to think about the future and neither do you. And I'm not pressing you to say, oh, you need to make plans. I'm talking to Geminis who know what they want and are convincing themselves that they might have it with somebody who they haven't actually asked if they want the same thing. You're getting serious. You're getting deeper. You're getting intimate. You're picturing a future, you're hanging on because you picture a future and you don't even know if this person wants 
to be exclusive, committed, have a family, or, or you know, some other aspect of a relationship. Those are just obvious examples. Um, but no, I'm certainly not pressing those of you who don't have a plan, don't want a plan, uh, to make one. And we'll get clarifiers on all of these from the Rider Waite tarot deck as well. Which will give us a little bit more info. And I'll go ahead and let you take a peek at the reading with me, Gemini's. So yeah, let's look at the Eight of Cups reversed. You're unable to walk away from, these are them. Yeah, because you see this success coming in the future. Again, this Seven of Pentacles success, 77 may be very significant for you uh, during this season, Libras. This. Um, success you see it coming that's why you can't like I said that's why you can't walk away you see the potential let me just pull this too real quick okay sorry about that um so yeah you see the potential at the beginning of Libra season and you're right as long you're right that success is coming as long as you're completely honest with this person again I just keep beating that home I know um, but you have reason to be confident about your your potential <laughs> and everything the two of you can manifest together um, with honesty involved then we'll use the spirit song tarot to get um, sort of a, a unifying overview is, is what's happening with, with this last pool that I've been doing. Um, and at the same time, you know, uh, I'm going to keep using the same example I've been using, and I'm sure for, for some Geminis it will actually literally apply the way, I, the way I'm explaining it, but um, it's just an example for others. Uh, this, this, this conversation we've been having about, you know, someone wanting a family <coughs> and the other partner not being sure if they want that marriage, that commitment, that responsibility, uh, in, in their future. And certainly they aren't sure about when, you know, maybe they're not sure about, they're not sure if and or when, right? For some Geminis, yes, there is the need to be completely honest about, completely honest, first of all, with yourself. What do you want? What do you need? And then, and what do you see? Are they, are they being honest with you? Is this the right energy, right person to explore this future with? Because like I said, some Gemini women are going to be finding out that it maybe is not their divine masculine I see here. Um. Uh, and uh, for those of you, for those particular Gemini, Geminis, and mostly Gemini females, I think probably you'll refocus on your work, and it's it's faded, and it's meant to be uh, for that partnership, this partnership in particular, to to fail, to hurt you, to break you, even some of you, uh, to the point where you know you have to to dive into your work. You're meant to do that work, and that's just for some of you. Uh, not for all. Um, but while there is this need to be completely honest with yourself and the person about what you want and need and what you see in them what, and, and, and whether or not you think they're being honest with you, there's also a need not to focus on what the two of you don't have. If you already have uh, a beautiful shared emotional fulfillment together, um, and clearly the potential for this success, which also looks like the, like this security in the 10 of pentacles, the 10 of coins, the 10 of earth. Um, this is, you know, not only the emotional fulfillment, but having the estate, the home, the money, the resources, the skills, the job, the raise, the comfort to actually bring a family into it. And that may be a lot of what this person's hesitation is, Gemini, that they're, 
you know, you both are, it could be in a place where you're, you're wanting to make sure you have that um, Ten of Pentacles energy to offer a family if you start one, to offer one another. Um, it, and, and I said 77 may be significant. 1010 may be very significant for you as well. That's, we've got tens repeating here. Uh, you, and it looks like you, you both already have the shared emotional fulfillment. We're moving toward wanting the, the, we're moving toward this success, which will be in line with, with having the securities to support a partnership and a home and a family together eventually. And I don't even necessarily mean it's right now. Um, but it's like success is on the horizon. It's like success is on the path that you're on. This is an amazing reading, Gemini. Um, and, and I said it when I, when I flipped this originally, that this success may have to do with your finances in a way that it affects your relationship. Uh, and, 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 you know, does, don't our finances almost always in some way. Uh, but yes, definitely, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about one or both of you wanting to be ready financially materialistically for the partnership and family and home that you are already emotionally prepared for and maybe even already emotionally happy in and the, the advice too is to stop stalling because I said at the beginning that you know you, there was a fight going on in your life a battle of sorts whether it was in your own mind or with your partner or potential partner uh, or ex-partner um, whatever romantic interest is how I should, should have been saying it in all these readings. Um, that, that, that is about someone stalling. I want to say one or both of you. I think it's just one or the other of you is, is stalling. And it may, it may be you, Gemini, because your advice here is to, to quit. To quit, quit stalling. Uh, that was the same, the 22 may be very significant for you this season. That's the same card that showed up with the Five of Swords to make me say that at the beginning of the reading. So it's the second time the Two of Pentacles has shown to me. Um, so if it's you that's stalling, quit stalling. If it's them that's stalling, be honest with yourself about the fact that that's what's happening. Be honest with the fact, with them about the fact that you want them to, to quit stalling. Um, be honest with yourself. Uh, about what you see in them and their attitude and their environment that clues you in as to why they are stalling if they maybe aren't communicating with you openly about that. Uh, because like I said, for, for a lot of Geminis, what you're going to run into is the fact that this, this person like you is, you know, not ready to so, expand on or solidify this this um, the home and the life that this emotional fulfillment suggests you can have together. They are sharing emotional fulfillment with you. They're just wanting to secure um, resources. They don't want to, you know, get deeply involved with you and find that, you know, you two are unable to take care of yourselves, each other, the family that you're, one or both of you is, is eager to start. Um, Potentially. Or maybe not so much all Geminis aren't necessarily eager to start it right now, but a lot of you are just wanting to start a conversation about it, like I've been talking about, so that you can make sure you're on the same page. Am I going to pursue my time in this when really you don't ultimately want the same thing I do? And it looks like they do. It looks like they do, Gemini. I, 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 across the board for most Geminis that have resonated with a lot of this, it looks like they do. They just want to make sure you guys are not only emotionally happy, but secure. Um, and yet the advice is to be honest with yourself about what you see in them and to be honest with them and to ask them for what you need and want and ask them if they're serious about wanting the same things. Um, so while it looks like most of them are, I want you to find out in your individual situation for yourself. And you've got the Queen of Swords, another the fourth duplicate that is shown in this reading now. You've got the Queen of Swords showing again too, as I'm describing to you that you need to see for yourself 
what they want, if it matches up with what you want and need, you need to ask yourself, be honest in your own specific situation. She's showing up again as I'm saying that. And, and with a third queen, the queen of water, the queen of shells in this deck, uh, Paulina Cassidy's spirit song tarot. Um, peace and compassion. And I think there's, you know, there's definitely this need for seeing and communicating the truth that we've been, you know, beating over the head in this reading. Um, but at the same time, once you step into that Queen of Swords energy, which I've been encouraging you to step into, and you must, there's also this danger, especially for us air signs, Gemini, there's also this danger of cutting people to the quick. Yeah, you want to be honest and still compassionate. You, you have to, you know, be compassionate towards yourself, your own emotional needs and wants, and likewise toward this love interest of yours. What do they need and want? Sometimes there's a hard situation that unfolds, right, where two people care very much about each other, but they don't want and need the same thing. There's a, comp there, a compromise can't be found without one part, one or, or the other party having to make a sacrifice that's honestly too great to ask of an individual, right? It happens. I'm not saying that that's, I don't think that's the case for most Gemini. I see the Ten of Cups upright. I see the Ten of Pentacles upright. I see success twice. Um, these Queens are upright. I don't think that's the case for most of you. Uh, most of you just need to see why someone is stalling and, and be compassionate about that. Um, it, I think it will lead you right to, to seeing that, like I said, they, this, whomever stalling is just hoping for security to match the level of emotional well-being that you already have together. Okay, and we will leave it at that this time, Gemini. We are well over how long I thought I would be in this reading. Um, that said, thank you all for liking and subscribing to the channel. If you do, welcome Lunatics. Thank you for your comments, shares, messages, and for supporting me through donations and orders. I'm truly grateful for our energy exchanges. If you are interested in a personal reading, just scroll down to the description box. All the options are there. LunaticsTarot at gmail.com is how you can uh, get a hold of me. And there are autumn readings up as well. So if this resonated, um, if you're looking to expand um, and look to the next couple of seasons, see you into December, those autumn readings very well may be um, applicable for you. So I'll link that for you. It'll be an air sign reading and they're timestamped so you can find Gemini. I love you very much, Geminis. I love reading for you, and I will post another tarot fix as soon as I can.